NY Drew rappers, I want to see more of more. Start over. NY Drew rappers, I want to see more from in 2024. W video type shoot. Welcome back to another video. As 2023 comes to a close and I look through rappers, who gave it their all, did what they could or did little, I want to go over rappers who are- I'm just looking at y'all's AI voices, like I'm seeing people fucking whole face get changed, y'all can't find a better AI voice that sounds like more like natural. I want to see more from next year. Like more Before realistic? I begin, this is nothing based on views or who's on top of New York now this is right. just. What I want to see personally from these five rappers oh. that I think would better their career and keep my ear as a listener. Um, me personally, I'm seeing Choppa. I definitely want to see more from Choppa. Um, Eddie SB, he's still underrated in my eyes. And it's like, at times, like, we could call him inconsistent, but for the most part, he's been dropping a lot of content in the last year. Um, at least he's been dropping at least once a month, I think. Something like that. And it's just like, it just hasn't hit, bro. He's an average on like 100k per views. But I feel like Eddie got more to offer. Um, mm, definitely Relly. Relly needs to be consistent. He's talking about dropping an album in like end of November, early December. But I just need him to drop music videos. Kenny already got the blow up song with Response. Relly needs that blow up song. I think he could definitely deliver that. Um, yeah. I thought they got for real. Um, Cedo Blake, yeah. Not facts. And it was it sucks because you feel me, he got the shit um the crank that shit that just dropped, but it felt like after he got the Kenzo feature, he just like like where's the songs to back that up? He needed that for real. I want to see more from Cedo Blake. And like, yeah, Assassin Assassin's one of the names where it's like, hey, if you don't want to take this shit serious, bro, I'm gonna stop pressing the issue. Cause it's like you want to be consistent for two months and then fucking I don't see your fucking name at all for three months. Like, I'm tired of this shit. I have huge faith that with most of the Yo, no, Cito, yeah, the Dio or rappers locked in jail or not taking know what rap to do. serious, Cito can pick up with Kenzo Bala and help carry Bala. Dio. I want to see the, Cito uh, go on a run with drill songs. Yeah, on bro, and it sucks because he had the Undertaker beat that's almost at like 100k. I feel like he went the best on that shit. And he backed that up with a, with a couple other songs, and then Kenzo, him and Kenzo dropped on a, um KJ's platform, and it's like, damn, now what? Disrespectful tip with some crazy beats. I think he has the voice and flow for it, but he isn't really taking rap serious as he could be. I feel like he drops a song every once a month or here, and there then go. Nah, it was it was just like during the summer, bro. He was dropping a lot. Like I feel like from like second half of July to. So probably like September, whenever the whenever the Kenzo Bolo feature, like that's when I like realized like damn I haven't seen his name since then. That was one of the things. Um, but that time period was when he was super consistent. He was dropping like every week, every two weeks. I felt like goes missing. Forty eight, dump it. Watch out and where they at shows how good he is on regular drill songs. You can relate it to Kenzo Bala because Bala. they're both good on drill. But even if you toss a chill beat at them. They'll still go crazy on it. No, so if you look at what's the vibes and who that you can see how good they went on both songs. Why are you with talking about my mouth? Chill beats as they are both on the same song as well. I'm gonna do Wiz. No, that's a fact. I ain't the biggest fan of Wiz, that's why I didn't put them, but I think Bro could definitely blow up off this shit. But it's just like, I don't know what be going on with the 150s, bro. Like Wiki, Wiz. I think Wiki's talking about dropping an album, though. That's what he's working on, but it's like. I feel like I need that whole work to fucking shoot a music video, have that shit out every two weeks. Like, it's not that hard. You could work on the album, studio time. I know money and shit. That's, um, I don't know how rich these fucking drivers actually are, but get some studio time, shoot a video, boom. And it's like, I don't understand. I want to see more science. from 150 Wiz. I feel like. Is Lefty even live at this point? I'm just glad Lefty even dropped like a couple songs this year. Like, this man, Lefty fucking, he dropped one song in 2021, the, the one feature with, like, six people, and I forget what this shit called, Anything Dead. Um, and then in 2022, he didn't drop nothing. This man, Lefty, CJ Goon, beat I was all locked up, he didn't drop shit, but he, at least he dropped some shit this year. He has a lot to offer. I kinda wish he would move from the Dark Jersey drill beats, even though, don't get me wrong, he does to flow on them. Yeah, I And it's kind of his lane, but I would like to hear him on more regular drill beats. 
which has the flow and cadence and the deep voice that many compare to S.Go or K-Flock. I believe that was seeing the views that he collected on his one mic and thought one that mic. it was okay to fall back and stop dropping for a while. This is another situation where a rapper gets too comfortable. Fuck yo, you know, whenever- Stop dropping for a while. This is another situation. It was- Whenever you like, you want the AI to say something like one mic, put M-I-K-E, you gotta spell it out. Okay to fall back and stop dropping for a while. Whoever's got the most talent don't even drop? I don't think so. While. This is another situation where a I... rapper gets too comfortable. Just because they see their song go in viral, hey, I've seen this bad. with I'm a few rappers. You. Wiz is one of my favorite COE rappers and up and coming rappers. I'm, I'm dropping for a about? while. This is another situation where a rapper gets too comfortable. Just because they see their song go in viral, I've seen this with a few rappers. Wiz nah, they're not getting too comfortable. They just don't give a fuck. Like, a lot of these rappers, like, they don't see themselves fucking get signed to a label or, like, making any sort of money. They, they don't got no passion for this shit. They just want to respond to the ops. That's just what it is. This is one of my favorite COE rappers and up and coming rappers. I'm less looking forward to a switch up and him getting consistent. Shimi? Come on, bro. Like, we gotta stop this, bro. What is the narrative with Shimi, bro? What more do you want to see from Shimi? Unless you want him to like switch it up a little bit or drop a project. This man Shimi has dropped more content this year than he has in his entire career. Probably overall or at least like in the year span. Like this man dropped so much music this year. Like I'm just happy he'd been consistent. Like y'all just keep trying to push him. Like I understand y'all want more content from him. That's why I want like an album from him or a body of work. But I don't know what more you want to see from him. I want to see more from Shimi. Shimi has always been one of my favorites that I feel like has been labeled underrated for the longest. Yeah, Why is that? Enough. Well, maybe because he puts himself in that boat because he doesn't really have any type of consistency to the point where his talent will get noticed. This past summer, he was super consistent dropping almost if not every week every two weeks. Literally. But that died out quick as soon as summer was over bro was back to being consistent on scan. I mean, what? This man dropped like six songs in 2022, and he dropped he probably after the summer he dropped like seven songs alone. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Like, why are we acting like Shimi is just not consistent? Like, the features he been putting out, like bro linked up with fucking Rich Glizzy, Madi on his channel, like bro seven months, seven months, four months, two months, two months, one month, ten days. We're not talking about the two Madi features. I think he got two other Madi features. Like, bro, got a C Blue feature, got all the other shit on other platforms, like, on the radar. Um, what else he got? Like, bro dropped more in that time period than he has the whole career. Like, what? In sports betting. I've been Shimi is not that consistent. Shimi is, is consistent for Shimi. Like, Shimi what? Shimi, since the heavy... Like, I don't know how much more y'all want him to drop. This man wasn't dropping in months. Was 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 letting that fan star for months, and now he's dropping every two weeks, every week, every month. It don't matter. With Mula GZZ, and I Mula know from there, he had star potential. Who? Me since to heavy with Mula GZZ. You ain't asked. And I know from there he had you star potential. He can flow on any beat, to be honest. But I want to see more of him doing songs on Envy Me. Am I wrong and alone type of beats? Type shit. Tasa. I want He's to see more deal. from Tada. I want to see more of a solo run from Tada. Can't I believe Tada is the best for one member. But that's a topic for a different what video. Fuck? Not gonna lie, Tata can rap for it. He need to stop doing that drill shit, real shit, no funny shit. Kyle and Jen can't fuck with bro. Anyway, if you ask the Rise of 1 video soon, type shit. Ask me, Tada is at his best. When he's rapping about the stuff he went through in life on some pain song timing, not just what he went through I in life. I was gonna label my shit the um the character development of four one. But what he's going through in his love life and how misunderstood he is and is battling anxiety. Yeah, bro, bro is stuck in that deal, bro. That that deal with four one, I don't know how much he can drop by himself. Like you see the Jen and Kyle Rich dropping on like other platforms, but they haven't dropped no music videos on a platform in a while. I like to hear a rap that I can relate to or feel, or listen to and get chills from, and Tata definitely delivers just that. I feel like out of the main three for one members, 
Tada is oh. definitely the overlooked and standout artist. Why you choose that picture? I want to see him go on a solo run, still drop tracks with the group as he should. But I want to see more solo Tada music. Mr. Losing his mental, Emro. What the fuck? When'd you edit this video, fuck yo? It's like before like the last month? Had to be. Last but not least, Emro. I want to see more storytelling music from Emro and Samples. I listened to Get With Me, and I thought he wouldn't continue like that, but it was a one off thing, I guess. But, if you ask me, I think that could be his lane. Not many New York drill rappers are on the storytelling tip, at least, I don't see it much. I mean, fine. I'm sure the now. stories Please aren't real, even story. if they are, it's something I like to hear. Detroit rapper T Grizzly dropped a whole album dedicated to storytelling and 9 times out of 10, none of the stories on that album were but it keeps fans eyes but but um like are you really listening to that album? who was hitting shuffle on that album? I may s like the only really listenable is shit is um Von shit and um Rico stories for real and like the 5, 5 shit I like the jail story from 5 and the fever story Say he does Damn, need to work on one subject matter. You, Staying Love on you. one topic basically if he does continue storting telling. Also he needs A to work on his delivery. Anyway I can't lie I thought M. Ro would start slacking if us couldn't get down with those freaky. Astral songs he was dropping. Now, I ain't gonna lie like I always looked at M. Ro and I, like, I've, I've watched a couple of videos of him like just interacting with people like I just tell like bro he ain't no crash out he ain't no he ain't no idiot. So like I th I felt like he was he was gonna either go one of two ways just completely take this drill shit serious and try to like blow up off the music shit or just completely hit another avenue like C blue, not not streaming or none of that but like do something else because bro was way too smart to be just bullshit out here. But, but him, lately he's you know been catching my eye again Pause. and gaining me back as an active listener with songs like Street Runner and To A M and Kali. To songs on sample Holly. beats where he's talking about pain and life. And like I said earlier, I like stuff like that and I am a big fan of sample drill. Especially samples that aren't used as much as most are. Well that's it for the video who are some well, rappers. Well that's it. You want to see more- This had to be before Wild Story. Because I think bro already talked about um, dropping a part 2. I think it was in the video actually. Or in the comments or something. That'd be good though. I just don't understand the shimi, like, like, I don't know, like, you push somebody too much, like, you want too much content out of them, they're just gonna be like, bro, y'all ask too much, let me go to FanDuel, like, that's, that's just all I'm saying, bro, like, I'm just happy for the music we're getting from shimi right now, I'm just blessed for it type shit, I don't know, too, but, I don't know, I don't know what more, like, I understand delivery, but, bro, has put out so much more content, been so much more, um, What's it called? Been so much more um versatile than any other drill rapper for a while now. Like I don't know any other drill rapper that has released that many like different tracks back to back to back and hit on all of them. Bro got almost five hundred K on every single time he switched up. That's insane to me.